Hey, guys! Welcome back to CGK, Curiosities about General Knowledge. Today we're going to talk about one of the most iconic prehistoric predators, the saber-toothed tiger. Also known as the Smilodon, this majestic feline lived during the Pleistocene epoch, roughly 2.5 million to 10,000 years ago. Here are five fascinating facts about the saber-toothed tiger that you might not know. Curiosity 1 The saber-toothed tiger had impressive teeth. The saber-toothed tiger, or Smilodon, had some of the most impressive teeth in the animal kingdom. Its canines were its most distinctive feature, and they could reach up to 11 inches in length. These long, curved teeth were serrated, which made them even more effective for tearing flesh. Despite their length, the saber-toothed tiger's canines were not particularly strong. In fact, they were quite fragile and would often break during hunting or feeding. However, the saber-toothed tiger had a unique adaptation that allowed it to continue using its teeth even when they were damaged. Its canines were deeply rooted in its skull, and they could move independently from the rest of the jaw. This allowed the saber-toothed tiger to bite and hold onto its prey even if one or both of its canines were broken. It's worth noting that the saber-toothed tiger's impressive teeth were not just for show. They played a critical role in the predator's hunting strategy. The saber-toothed tiger would use its canines to deliver a fatal bite to the neck of its prey, rather than relying on suffocation like modern big cats. Its powerful jaw muscles allowed it to bite down with tremendous force, puncturing through bone and causing massive internal injuries. This made the saber-toothed tiger one of the most effective predators of its time. Curiosity 2 The saber-toothed tiger had a unique hunting style. The saber-toothed tiger, or Smilodon, had a unique hunting style that set it apart from modern big cats. While modern cats rely on their speed and agility to catch their prey, the saber-toothed tiger had a more patient and calculated approach. Unlike modern cats, which often chase their prey over long distances, the saber-toothed tiger would stalk its prey from a distance, using its camouflage to remain hidden. It would then ambush its prey, using its powerful forelimbs to pin it down. Once the prey was immobilized, the saber-toothed tiger would deliver a fatal bite to the neck using its long, curved canines. The saber-toothed tiger's hunting style required immense strength and power. It was able to take down prey that was much larger than itself, such as mammoths, bison, and even young mastodons. It's worth noting that the saber-toothed tiger did not kill its prey by suffocation, as modern big cats do. Instead, it relied on its sharp canines to deliver a swift and deadly bite that caused massive internal injuries. Overall, the saber-toothed tiger's unique hunting style was a key factor in its success as a predator. Its powerful physique, impressive teeth, and patient approach made it one of the most effective hunters of its time. Curiosity 3 The saber-toothed tiger had a global distribution. The saber-toothed tiger, or Smilodon, had a global distribution during the Pleistocene epoch, which spanned from about 2.6 million years ago to about 11,700 years ago. Fossils of Smilodon have been found throughout the Americas, from Alaska to Argentina, as well as in Europe and Asia. Interestingly, different species of Smilodon lived in different parts of the world during different time periods. The most well-known species, Smilodon fatalis, lived in North and South America from about 1.6 million years ago until the end of the Pleistocene epoch. Smilodon populator, a larger and more robust species, lived in South America during the late Pleistocene. Smilodon neogeus, a smaller species, lived in North America during the early Pleistocene. The global distribution of Smilodon is thought to have been influenced by the movement of large herbivores, such as mammoths and bison, which were the main prey of the saber-toothed tiger. As these animals migrated across the continents in search of food and water, Smilodon followed, adapting to different environments and prey species along the way. Despite its global distribution, the saber-toothed tiger went extinct at the end of the Pleistocene epoch, along with many other large mammals. The exact cause of its extinction is not known, but it is thought to have been influenced by a combination of factors, including climate change, habitat loss, and competition with other predators. Curiosity 4 The saber-toothed tiger was not the only saber-toothed cat. While the saber-toothed tiger, or Smilodon, is perhaps the most well-known of the saber-toothed cats, it was by no means the only one. In fact, 
there were many different species of saber-toothed cats that lived throughout the world during the Pleistocene epoch. One of the most notable of these species was the Homotherium, also known as the scimitar-toothed cat. This species had longer, flatter canines than the saber-toothed tiger, and a more slender body. Homotherium is thought to have been a more opportunistic predator than Smilodon, and may have hunted in packs. Fossils of Homotherium have been found throughout North America, Europe, and Asia. Another well-known species of saber-toothed cat was the Macherodus, which had even longer canines than the saber-toothed tiger. Macherodus lived during the Miocene and Pliocene epochs, before the rise of Smilodon. Fossils of Macherodus have been found in Europe, Asia, and Africa. Other species of saber-toothed cats include the Megantarian, which had shorter canines and a more robust build than Smilodon, and the Dinophelus, which lived in Africa and Asia and had a more generalized dentition. Each of these species had its own unique adaptations and hunting strategies, which allowed them to thrive in different environments and prey upon different species. Overall, the saber-toothed tiger was just one of many species of saber-toothed cats that roamed the earth during the Pleistocene epoch, each with its own distinctive characteristics and adaptations. Curiosity 5 The saber-toothed tiger was not a tiger. When people hear the term, saber-toothed tiger, they often assume that this prehistoric predator was a type of tiger. However, this is actually a misnomer. The saber-toothed tiger, also known as Smilodon, was not a tiger at all. It belonged to the Macherodontinae subfamily, which is a group of extinct felines characterized by their long, razor-sharp canine teeth. The saber-toothed tiger and tigers are not closely related. Tigers belong to the Panthera genus, along with lions, leopards, and jaguars. Unlike modern big cats, which have retractable claws, the saber-toothed tiger's claws were always extended, and it used them primarily for grasping prey. So while the saber-toothed tiger may have looked similar to modern-day tigers with its fur and stripes, it was actually a completely different species. The name, saber-toothed tiger, is a bit of a misnomer that has persisted over time. And there you have it, folks. 5 Fascinating Facts About the Saber-toothed Tiger if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating curiosities about general knowledge. See you next time!